Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is a very special day because we are in Osaka today and we're gonna be heading over to Kokan Nursery where I did my apprenticeship to help prepare some trees for the upcoming Kokofu or Japanese National Bonsai Exhibition. So let's head over to the nursery and check out what's there, see what we're gonna be getting our hands on this week. Before we get to the nursery, I gotta show you guys one thing. This right here behind me, this door up on the second floor, that was my apartment during my first year as an apprentice here in Japan. It's interesting to walk down these streets again and it's nice to see that that building is actually still intact because even a decade ago when I was living there, it was an old kind of rundown place. So it's kind of cool to see that it's still intact. So this is the tree that I'm gonna be working on first here this week at Koka, and this is one of our most well-known trees at the nursery. It goes by the name of Hakuryu, which translates to white dragon. Now that was a name that was not given to the tree by this nursery, it was given to the tree by its previous owner back in the 1970s. There are some great photos of this tree from back in that period, including a photo of the tree when it was in the Kokofu Ten, just before Fujikawa-san's father purchased this tree. So I wired this tree at the very end of my apprenticeship. As a matter of fact, when I first came to Japan, and Fujikawa-san told me that when I finished my apprenticeship, he would allow me to wire this tree. And I was able to do that towards the end of my apprenticeship. Now it's been about four or five years since that wiring. The tree's become a bit overgrown at this point. So I'm gonna go through and clean it up, get it back into proper shape. those of you who've been following my vlogs online for a while, you'll know that I did a video on a tree called the $200,000 bonsai a few years ago. Well, that tree is still at the nursery here. And as a matter of fact, that tree is not the most expensive tree that we have at the shop. Hakuryu is actually the most expensive tree we have here. I'm not sure what the actual value is, but I do know that it's worth more than $200,000, or at least that's what the price tag is anyway. So there are a couple of reasons why Hakuryu is worth so much money. One of those is that it's a natural collected Itoegawa Shinpaku juniper and it's not grafted. So this is the natural foliage on the tree. It's pretty rare to find that. The second thing is obviously the deadwood characteristics at the base here. Those are fantastic. But more importantly than that is further up in the tree, there's an area internally where it has something called Edajin, which is basically live branches with deadwood features intertwined throughout the length of that branch. Those are very rare features as well, and that's one of the main reasons why this tree carries such a high value. So a lot of you are probably wondering what exactly did I do to Hakuryu in this case because the tree basically looks the same before as it does after. Well bonsai to me is an incremental art so that means that little by little over time through basic maintenance practices, through wiring on occasion, through basic pruning, fertilization, watering, the trees grow and evolve over time. So everything we do to a tree in one instance doesn't mean that that tree is going to look like that five years down the line. So we have to be thinking, all right, how is this tree going to look? five, 10, 15 years down the line with what we're applying to the tree now. So if you go back and look at the tree in 2013 when I wired it, the bottoms of all the pads were incredibly flat, almost plasticky looking. The reason that I did that is because I was thinking four, five, six, seven years down the line in terms of, okay, when those branches grow out and elongate and lift, 
are they going to look natural? Are they going to look beautiful? So by overplacing the branches, making them too flat to begin with, as those elongate and grow out, you get this natural upward lift through this process called phototropism, where the branches actually grow upward towards the light. And through that natural lift, you get a much more natural appearance to the tree. So if you compare Hakuryu in 2013, when I initially styled it to Hakuryu now, you can see that it's got that natural soft appearance to it. So it doesn't look so plasticky anymore. And I think it looks better overall at this stage. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. That's gonna do it for this week's video. Really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out this vlog and we'll see you guys next time. Take care.